In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the square root of large numbers using the division method. So let's begin by rewriting the problem. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break up the four numbers into pairs of two. Now, let's think of 22. 22 is between the perfect squares 16 and 25. We know that 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. But we're going to use the perfect square that is less than 22, that is 16. And so 4 goes into 22 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16, and then we're going to subtract 22 by 16, which gives us 6. Next, we're going to bring down the 0, 9. Now, because we have a 4 here, we're going to add the same number to it. So 4 plus 4 is 8, and we're going to leave a space here. We need to find a number that goes here. and Whatever number that goes there will go here as well. But now, here's how we could find that number. 80-something times something is 6 or 9. What is that something? So 80-something times something should equal 6 or 9. How can we find that? 609 is close to 640, and 64 is a perfect square. We know that 8 squared is 64. So if this is 80-something, 80, 80 times 8 is 640. So we need to try something that's less than 8. Let's try 7. So 87 times 7, what is that? Well, let's do a little math. 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 4. 8 times 7 is 56 plus 4, that's 60. So 87 times 7 gives us 609. So now we have a, a 0 remaining. So whatever number we have in this box, that's going to go here. The final answer is whatever we see here. So the square root of 2209 is 47. And that's how you can find it using the division method. Now let's work on another example. For the sake of practice, go ahead and find the square root of 5,184. Feel free to take a minute and use the same method that we used in the last problem. So let's begin by rewriting the problem. Now let's break up the four numbers into pairs of two. Now let's focus on 51. So what is the perfect square that is less than 51? We know that 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, and 8 squared is 64. So the highest perfect square just under 51 is 49. So we're going to use 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Subtracting 51 by 49 gives us 2, and then we're going to bring down the 84. Now we're going to add whatever number we see here to it. So 7 plus 7 is 14. And then let's put a box here. 140 something times something is equal to 284. What is that something? Well, 284 divided by 140 something is about 2. So 2 is the best number to go with. So 142 times 2 is clearly 284. So the number that goes here is going to be a 2. So the square root of 5,184 is 72. And that is the answer. Let's try another similar example so that you can master this topic. Go ahead and find the square root of 7,225. Feel free to take a minute and work on that. So let's begin by rewriting the problem and by breaking the four numbers into pairs of two. Now, what perfect square is just under 72? We know that 8 squared is 64 and 9 squared is 81. 81 exceeds 72. So we're going to use 64. 
So 8 times 8 is 64. Subtracting 72 by 64 gives us 8. And then we're going to bring down the 25. So we have 825. Now let's add 8 to 8, which gives us 16. And let's put a box. So 160 something times something is 825. What is that something? Well, the only way we're going to get a 5 at the end is if we have a 5 to begin with. Because 5 times 5 is 25. So clearly this must be 5. And we could check it. If we multiply 165 by 5, we get 5 times 5, which is 25. Carry over the 2. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 2. That's 32. Carry over the 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3. We get 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. So this gives us the 825 that we need, giving us a remainder of 0. And since we have a 5 in the box, that 5 is going to go here. Thus, the square root of 7,225 is 85. And to check your work, you could just multiply 85 by 85, and you'll get 7,225. So that's how you could use the long division method to find the square root of a perfect square. Now let's find the square root of a five digit number, 21,316. So let's work on that example. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write pairs of twos. We're going to highlight pairs of twos starting from the left. So we're going to focus on the square root of two. We know that one squared is one and 2 squared is 4. So a perfect square that is less than 2 is 1. So 1 times 1 will give us 1. And then we're going to subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then bring down the 13, the next pair of numbers. So we have 113. On the left, we're going to add 1 to 1, giving us 2. And then we're going to draw a box. So 20 something times something is equal to or just under 113. What is that something? It doesn't have to be exactly equal to 113 because we haven't used the 16 yet. But we want a number that will give us a number that is close to 113 but just under it. Well, we can try 5. 25 times 5 is 125. So that exceeds 113. So the next best option is 4. 24 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16, carry over the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, that's 96. So we're going to go with that, 24 times 4 is 96. And now we need to subtract. So what is 113 minus 96? Well, we can't do 3 minus 6 because it's going to give us a negative number. So we're going to borrow a 1. This is going to change to 0. That becomes 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. 10 minus 9 is 1. So we get 17. Now, 24 and 4, we're going to add them to get 28. And then we're going to create a new box. Now, we also need to bring down the 16. So we get 17, 16. 28 or 280 something times something is equal to 1716. What is that number? Well, the fact that this ends in 6 tells us that it might be a 6. Also, if we round up 28 to 30 and 171 to 180, we know that 30 times 6 is 180. So 6 is a good number to start with. So let's try 286 times 6 to see if it's going to give us our desired number. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry over the 3. 8 times 6 is 48. Plus 3, that's 51. Carry over the 5. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 5, that's 17, 16. So this is going to work. Thus, the next, the next number we need to put up top is a 6. I forgot to put the 4. So it should be 146, because 4 is in the first box, and then 6 is in the second box. The square root of 21, 
316 is 146. So that's the answer for this example. Now let's work on one more example. Let's find the square root of 329,476. Go ahead and work on that example. So let's break up the six numbers into pairs of two. So first, let's focus on the square root of 32. We know that 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36. So 25 is the highest perfect square under 32. We're going to go with 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 32 minus 25 is 7. And then we're going to bring down the 94. On the left, we're going to add 5 to 5. That's going to give us 10. And then we're going to put a box. So 100 and something times something is close to but less than 794. Well, it can't be 8. 108 times 8 is going to be more than 800. So the best number to pick is 7. 107 times 7 is going to be 7 times 7 is 49. Carry the 4. 7 times 0 is 0 plus 4 is 4. And then 7 times 1 is 7. So 107 times 7 will give us 749. Next, we need to subtract. So what is 794 minus 749? We need to borrow a 1. So the 9 becomes an 8. The 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 9 is 5. 8 minus 4 is 4. The 7s will cancel. So this will give us 45. On the left, we need to add 107 plus 7 is 114. And let me not forget to put the 7 here, like I did last time. Now we need to add another box. And also, we need to bring down the 76. So 1140-something times something is equal to 4576. What is that something? Well, we know that 1,000 times 4 will give us 4,000. So 4 is the best number to go with. 1144 times 4. And also, the fact that this ends with a 6 means that this could be a 6 or a 4. Because 4 squared ends in a 6, and 6 squared ends in a 6. But 1000 times 6 is going to give us 6,000 something. So we don't want to use a 6 in this example. 4 is the best option. So 4 times 4 is 16. Carry over the 1. 4 times 4 is 16 again, plus 1, that's going to be 17. Carry over another one. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Bring down the last, I mean, don't do that. 4 times 1 is 4, so we get 4576. 1144 times 4 is this number. And so we have a remainder of 0. Thus, we can take our last number and put it here. So the square root of... 329,476 is 574. That is the answer. So now you know how to find the square root of a large number using the division method.